still don't know how he survived. There's no other explanation than divine intervention. Um, I, I thought he was dead on impact. Tonight in Slidell, 12 year old Grayson Manning fighting for his life at Children's Hospital after running into the path of a pickup truck while chasing his family's dog. The boy's parents say they aren't sure how extensive his injuries are as her son is still on a ventilator and will need several more brain surgeries. They say the road ahead is long. And Maddie Curve shares what keeps them going through the unimaginable. Dustin Manning had just gotten off work Sunday around one in the afternoon, anticipating a Father's Day celebration with his son, Grayson. The Buffalo Wild Wings and playing Golden Tea, and I think we were planning on doing the same thing probably around six. But a life-altering phone call changed their plans. Grayson was just getting home from paintball practice, unloading the car off Fremo Avenue in Slidell. When the family's dog, Muffin, darted out the door toward the street, and Grayson didn't think twice about going after her. He was tunnel vision on, on the dog, and so he, he ran directly into the street without, without looking at all. Right into the path of a Ram 2500 pickup truck. His mother said it happened so fast she thought her only child was dead. Grayson was rushed to Slidell Memorial and then transferred to Children's Hospital in New Orleans, where he remains on life support. By Sunday night, he had had three emergency surgeries to save his vision, fix broken bones in his face, and treat skin injuries. The news that we've gotten has not been the best, but it's been very truthful and, and blunt for, for what to expect. Um, and I think that's probably the scariest part for us right now is that we don't know, are we going to have a child who can speak, walk and talk, who can't, who can do that partially. Grayson returns to the operating room Wednesday. He has damage to the thalamus in his brain. Doctors say most senses are processed through that region and it plays a role in sleep, motor skills and memory. He also needs reconstructive jaw surgery. His parents say Grayson has traveled the country as a competitive paintball player. One of his coaches started a fundraiser to help with the family's medical bills. By Tuesday night, it had raised more than $30,000 and was shared across the community. Grayson is going to be blown away by, um, by just his name being out there by some of these big name players and companies and um, he loves paintball. Well, we want to be able to give him the best treatment possible. If there's a specialist we need to send him to, you know, all this is, is going to help and, and greatly appreciated. Between sleepless nights and restless days, Grayson's parents say what keeps them going is knowing their child will need them by his side when he wakes up. They're going to do everything physically possible to get him back to, to where he was and back out on the paintball field and, and uh, you know, just back to normalcy as much as possible. It's a mindset. I, I think anytime you have things like this, like what you put out there is, is what you're going to get back in return. So um, I, I believe that he's going to make a full recovery. And so that's what's going to happen. So you can find links to the family's GoFundMe and meal train by scanning the QR code right here on your screen. Slidell police said they do not believe speeding or impairment were factors in the crash. And Grayson's parents say they're grateful to the first responders and the medical staff who helped keep their son alive.